Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Unworthy servants that we are, O Lord, grieved by the guilt of our deeds, we pray that you may gladden us by the saving advent of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Raise a glad cry, you barren one who did not bear. Break forth in jubilant song, you who were not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted wife than the children of her who has a husband, says the Lord. Enlarge the space for your tent. Spread out your tent cloths unsparingly. Lengthen the ropes and make firm your stakes. For you shall spread abroad to the right and to the left. Your descendants shall dispossess the nations and shall people the desolate cities. Fear not, you shall not be put to shame. You need not blush, for you shall not be disgraced. The shame of your youth you shall forget. The reproach of your widowhood no longer remember. For he who has become your husband is your maker. His name is the Lord of hosts. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, called God of all the earth. The Lord calls you back like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit. A wife married in youth and then cast off, says your God. For a brief moment, I abandoned you, but with great tenderness, I will take you back. In an outburst of rust for a moment, I hid my face from you. But with enduring love, I take pity on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is for me like the days of Noah, when I swore that the waters of Noah should never again deluge the earth. So I have sworn not to be angry with you or to rebuke you. Though the mountains leave their place and the hills be shaken, my love shall never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord who has mercy on you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up from the netherworld you preserved me from among those going down into the pit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Sing praise to the Lord, you his faithful ones, and give thanks to his holy name. For his anger lasts but a moment, a lifetime his goodwill. At nightfall, weeping enters in, but with the dawn, rejoicing. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, O Lord, and have pity on me. O Lord, be my helper. You change my mourning into dancing. O Lord my God, forever I will give you thanks. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Please stand. Hallelujah. 
Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the messengers of John the Baptist had left, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine garments. Those who dress luxuriously and live sumptuously are found in royal palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom Scripture says, Behold, I am sending you my messenger ahead of you. I will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John. Yet, the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. All the people who listened, including the tax collectors, who were baptized with the baptism of John, acknowledged the righteousness of God. But the Pharisees and the scholars of the law, who were not baptized by him, rejected the plan of God for themselves. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. Meron tayong kasabihan na ang totoong pagiging dakila ay hindi ipinagmamalaki. Pagkos hinahayaan itong kusang lumabas upang makita at masinaga ng iba. Sa ating ibanghelyo ngayon, ito ay nakatuon hindi kay Jesus, kundi sa isang taong kanyang dinadakila. Sino yon? Si Juan Bautista. Alam nating hindi madali ang naging buhay at pinagdaanan ni Juan Bautista. Ano nga ba ang nangyari sa kanya? At papano siyang naging dakila? Papaanong okay lang sa kanya ang istadong naglalarawan sa kanya? Ito iyon. Ang diet niya ay balang o locus. Ang pansuot niya ay balat ng kamelyo. At ang kanyang bahay ay ang buong disyerto. Pero sa kabila ng lahat ng ito, Nilalarawan siya ni Jesus na ang sabi ay, Among those born of women, no one is greater than John. Yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. Noong nakaraang linggo po, sinabi sa Ebanghelyo na si Juan Bautista ay namuhay ng payak o simple. Pero ang kanyang kapayakan naging masigasig pa rin siya sa pagpapahayag ng Mesiyas. Even in spite of his low profile, he still was able to do proclaiming a message that someone is coming. Maliwanag din sa kanya na hindi siya ang Mesiyas. Maliwanag sa kanya na tagapaghanda lamang siya ng taraana ng Diyos. Sikat siya sa pananaw ng tao, subalit hindi niya hinayaang kainin siya ng kanyang kasikatan. Alam niya kung saan siya lulugar. Sa mata ng marami, dakila si Juan Bautista, subalit hindi niya kailanman ipinagyambang na siya ay isang dakila. 
humility before God. To see and acknowledge ourselves as capable of doing that which God asks us to do. Ito po ang hamon sa atin. Maging mapagkumbaba. Kahit sumisimbolo pa tayo o nagpe-prepare pa tayo ng someone greater sa atin. Ito po ang aspeto sa ating buhay na iniimbitahan tayong pagnilayan ngayon. To see ourselves as having a distinct value before God and before man. This will enable us to be great for it carries out the task God wants us to do for the good of everyone. Surely, we will have detractors and bashers and sometimes they put us to the ground. But how we carry ourselves, how we see ourselves, says a lot of how we see ourselves and what is our values that we keep. What we say to ourselves is more important than what other people are saying about us. Ang sabi pa nga sa Ebanghelyo patungkol kay Juan, no? baliw yung si Juan na yan. At meron siyang demonyo na tinatago sa sarili niya. For John came neither eating or drinking, yet people say, he has a demon. Sa gitna ng napakaraming paghanda sa pagsapit ng Pasko, sa gitna ng mga pagpupunyagi na maging masaya at makahulugan ang darating na Kapaskuhan, huwag po natin sanang kalimutan ang kahalagahan ng imahe ni Juan Bautista at ang sinisimbolo niyang kababaang loob. Belittling ourselves will not make us holier. However, let our humility point to that guy we are carrying. There is the story of Mother Teresa. When she was about to receive an award, if I am not mistaken, Nobel Peace Award. People were excited about her. People were adulating her. Sikat siya. Lahat ng atensyon ay nasa kanya. When she went down, took off, no? a light, an airplane, lahat ng camera ay nasa kanya. Gusto siyang mapicturan, gusto siyang maitampok sa TV, sa newspaper. When she was interviewed, no? how does she feel about being sikat? How does she feel about being an, a recipient of a Nobel Peace Award? She said, I felt like a donkey. Donkey? Sabi nung nag-interview, Papanong donkey? I felt like a donkey. Remember, she said during the interview, when Jesus was entering Jerusalem, He ride a donkey. The donkey thinks that siya ang pinapalakpakan. Pero ang pinapalakpakan pala ay ang nakasakay sa donkey. We need to see ourselves as having some worth that emanates from that value God places on us. Maging maliwanag ko sana sa atin ang mensahe ng Ibanghelyo ngayon sa atin. Gaano man tayo kagaling, gaano man tayo kasikat, kung hindi natin ito inaangkop sa mas dakila kesa sa atin, ang Diyos, pointless sa mga ito. Kasi, pakasarili lang din natin ang ating dinadala. Naghihintay lang din tayo na ma-recognize Uhaw din tayo ng acknowledgement. Naghihintay lang din tayo ng validation at ma-affirm ng iba. Dahil hindi pa natin nare-realize na mahal tayo ng Diyos. 
ay ang ending, ayun, binubuhat pala natin ang ating sarili para ma-showcase sa iba. Nagbubuhat tayo ng sariling bangko. Minsan pa nga, hindi lang bangko, kundi sofa ang ating binubuhat. Dahil sa bandang huli, mga kapatid ko kay Kristo, ang pinakamagandang pagkilala sa atin ay ang pagkilala ng Diyos sa ating mga gawa. At mangyayari lamang ito kapag may kababaang loob tayo at tinitingnan natin ang ating mga gawa bilang isang participation ng gawa ng Diyos. Amen. Please stand. The coming of our Redeemer was foretold by the prophets by preaching repentance for sins. John the Baptist heralded his coming. In the spirit of penance, let us ask God's help through our prayers. And in every prayer we say, Lord, teach us your way. Lord, teach us your way that the Holy Church may reveal the glory of the Lord for all people to see. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us your, your way. way. That Christian leaders may become instruments of truth and justice and lead their people in the way of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord teach, teach us, us your way. way. That our hearts may be open to receive the message of the prophets is speaking like voices in the wilderness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us your way, that others may see the patience of God in the way we treat them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us your way, that those whose deaths we recall may enjoy pardon and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us your way, in a special manner, we pray today for our brothers and sisters in the Visayas and Mindanao who are in danger of the onslaught of the Typhoon Odette. May the Lord keep them, protect them from all harm and danger. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us your way. Most loving Father, look upon the needs of your people and grant our petitions as we prepare for your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, 
and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with all the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, comes in the name, in the name of, the Lord. of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the true fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us, us not, not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of, the of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not, not worthy that you should enter under, under my, roof, my roof, but only but say, only the, say word, the word, and my soul, and my shall, soul be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.